Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope y'all are doing great. Today we're going to be diving into some ugly paper. This is a reoccurring thing on the channel. I hope you watched the introduction and you saw the other videos that I have. So what I was doing is I was cutting paper because I want to make some flowers. I looked up a, a Scan and Cut video. Um, well, Scan and Cut has a website like most companies. And they have free projects that are available. And I went and printed out the instructions, but they didn't have a video. So I went and typed in Yahoo, not Yahoo, YouTube, scan and cut large flower. And a few came up. And then I saw one that was very simple, easy to do. I clicked on it, followed the instructions, and here we are. So I originally started off with these flowers right here because I wanted to make some flowers. The video doesn't tell you the size that she used. Um, so I just made them small to get a whole bunch for, you know, one sheet of paper. I try to maximize the paper. So what I did when I was maximized paper, um, I had these, which is the ugly paper. Then I threw in some smaller flowers like this. And then I threw in some Easter eggs. <laughs> I thought that was, I think these are very cute. And you, you know, Easter eggs are all kinds of colors, but you could take these and kind of lay them down and stack them on top of each other. You know, put a little design on there. You have a little um, corner piece on a card or, you know, some ephemera that you're making. And so I, I thought that we could do that with, the ugly paper make some flowers so I already have my glue gun warmed up it's on low because I will be um, manipulating the paper some and I don't want to burn myself so what I tried to do is I tried to get some of the paper that's you know the ugly paper and kind of match it up with some of the solid pages um, but I think today we're just going to work with the ugly paper I already did one and I didn't stack it properly you know the first one is always just like the test ugly dummy sometimes when you're doing this but like you see these right here um we could do this with this paper it looks very very pretty so one side you can't even tell that it's just not attractive paper when you really get into the mix of it because once you cut the paper down you're good to go We're, i'm hoping to try to do more than one with you all because that would be a waste of time for us um so we're gonna do um this and on the video i'll link the video down below if you're interested this these come with your scanning cut if you buy one i have a cm350 i have a scanning cut two and i have the one I, I call it's like the base model i don't know if it's one less than that they do have a designing cut and with the designing cut you cannot scan in things you have to design it and do it like that it doesn't have the scan feature that's what's called design okay so on the one thing i want to talk about is the petals on the paper itself i didn't line it up properly so some of them are missing and you cut out these four are really good but you cut one strip you cut down the middle on one of your seams one of your petals so that's the first one on the second one, you cut out a petal. And you've probably seen a lot of people do this before. So this is probably nothing new to you. So you go one, two. That's You cut out one petal, which is that. Then on another one, try not to cut out the same design. You cut two petals off. And then on another one, you cut three petals off. And we're going to do, I'm going to try to get all three colors chopped off. One petal, two, three. And I didn't cut it properly, so now we have it. Just hanging by a sliver, right? So now what you're going to do is you're going to take a roller, your uh, quilling tool, whatever you can to roll your edges. You're going to take that or curl your edges. And she uses the stylus from the machine. I didn't, I, my machine is downstairs. So I'm just going to do this. I'm using just a plain color. Um, this is a black drawing pencil, a sketching pencil. I think it's not sharp and I feel like that works well for me. I do have the um, little bone folder that I showed you in one of the, my Freaky Friday video. But I haven't mastered this thing yet. So I'll show you how it looks when I do it like this. <laughs> um, I feel like 
this flower is not the time to try to master that tool when I can just do this no problem. And that was the reason why I didn't want to buy the tool in the first place because I just felt like it was another ploy for you to, you know, spend your money on something you didn't need. But after the first flower I made came out really ugly, I was like, let me get this tool. Maybe it's something going on with the tool. And as you all saw, the flower did come out a lot better. But did I really need to get that tool? No, I don't think I did. But I did use a coupon. Yay. Um, I'm not sure if you've been using Michael's coupons lately. I haven't been to Michael's in a few months to purchase something. The last thing I purchased was this. And I think I only purchased this one item. Um, so... Yeah, I haven't went in with any of the new paper or anything like that. I was just, you know, it's about using what you have. Again, this paper pad I purchased a long, long time ago. I do like some of the newer things that I've seen, but I don't need them. Um, I had a really bad um, experience in February with a, a purchase. And I just, you know, after that, it kind of bothered me. Um... So I'm not sure. All right. So we will only do one. My little one is up. Um, and, you know, we can revisit this at a later time if you all wish to. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the larger ones first because I screw up these. So we're going to do the, the larger one first. And all we're going to do is we're going to take um, some glue. I do have it on low temp, as I stated before. Now, I think you probably could get away with using wet glue on this portion versus the hot glue and you're just going to take it and you're going to touch it back on top you're going to re reconnect it and there you go same thing with this one it's probably too much glue um, especially if you have it on high temp and this is hot even though it is on low temp this paper is not as thick as some of the other thing, the other the, some of the other materials you may use when you can manip for me at least it's hot. So if you you know my finger, I can still feel my finger um, tips, and I don't know why this did that, but we just punch that down and make it work. All right. Okay, here we go. Like this. And this is fairly easy. You can make a lot of these. You probably could do this in front of the TV. Um, I can't, but you probably could, you know, people that are more um, savvy into doing things. So now we're going to take this and we're going to um, somehow figure out how not to hurt myself with the glue and get this thing attached. So this is the only thing I don't like about it. So we're going to take a little bit of glue and we're going to attach it just like that. You can't even see me doing it, but that's what we're going to do. Attach it just like this. So I'm going to put this little glue right here. That may be too much. <laughs> Only because I don't want to burn or hurt my fingers. Hot. It is hot. All right. So it is attached. And it is hot. So you got to be careful. You know. If you're using glue, hot glue, and you're above 18, or if you are master at glue, hot glue and stuff, you know that it is hot. Um, but if you're younger and you're watching the channel, don't use a glue gun without your parents permission or their supervision um you know i, I don't think i ever used a glue gun when i was a, a younger child um so but i did use scissors um which i'm trying not to let the little roommate watch any scissor things because he has really really long hair um and he is a boy um but he has long, long, long hair. It goes down to his butt almost. Okay, so now we have all our pieces um, glued together. And what I'm going to do to make it less trouble for Brandy is I'm going to, let's see. One, two, three. Yep, this is the bigger one. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to attach this little piece into the bigger piece. And we're just going to build them up just like that so you don't need a lot of glue just need some glue and you want to alternate the pedal connection all right 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it a little bit higher because if I put it right, if I put the glue right on the tip, it's going to fall out. You see that? So that's the one thing I don't really mm, like about this. I probably could add more petals if I was really serious about not liking that glue poking out like it is, but I'm not um, too upset with it for the most part. She did this video in four minutes, right? She did do a lot of cut scenes. But as you all know, I like to talk. Um, I do. You know, you can always fast forward it. Or you could just click on the link below and go to her channel and see how she does it. Either way, you know, it works. <laughs> and she made this video like four, three or four years ago. Four years ago, I believe. So I'm just going around the, the top portion, not that bottom piece anymore. Because at this point, this piece, like I said, is poking out. Um, and it's not getting glued down very well. So now I'm just trying to alternate, visually alternate it without, um, as you can see, it's starting to look a lot better than the first one. You know, the first time I do something, it, it never comes out as pretty as I envision it. But the more you do, you know, practice makes better in some instances. I wouldn't say perfect because, you know, basketball players practice um, their jump shots and three pointers and they could have a good night one night and an off night the next night. So um, I, I don't like to say perfect, you know, practice makes it better. I screwed that one up. Now, if you have assembly line, like I have a whole bunch and unfortunately the little roommate is awake. So I will not be making a lot cause he is, he's going to come in and out about 20 times and um, he needs my attention when he first wakes up. So But if we were going to make a lot, I probably would already had everything cut out and we could just assemble them together like that. I hope that makes sense what I'm saying. So now I'm, I am going to look at the last one just because it's the last one. And here we go. And I'm just going to press it down to get all the glue on. And here's our flower. I do have some of these cut out and she had these and I just pulled out this mint green as you can tell. And I didn't change the size of that at all, anything. So you see how this is kind of wonky? What I would do, and I'll show you in this one. You see how I just tore out that two-piece petal? I would probably put in one of my buttons because I think it would look better. Not this button. But I think it would look better like that because you have a, a real centerpiece. So this is the first one I ever made, which was today. And then this is the second one. Again, my second one's... And the third one and the fourth one is probably going to look a lot better than the first one. Now, she says you could take the centerpiece, this one, and clip the ends. Like that. And curl this over and glue it down. But I'm not really, I don't think that's necessary. But, you know, we'll do it for the sake of completion. Because I am a completist, unfortunately. I mean, it's not a bad thing that I'm a completist. It's just, sometimes it's just a crazy thing. I guess it's one of the my little quirks. It, it, you know, I have to have a complete set of some things and other things I don't like. I think I showed you before. I don't know. I can't remember. Maybe not. And I'm not going to put this in here because I don't want to have to. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. So anyway, this is, I love them. You can't tell that this is ugly paper anymore, can you? No, you cannot. Let me just remind you all of how the ugly paper does look. <laughs> this side is not that bad. I love it. I love that you can, you know, I hope you're enjoying the ugly paper series. That's all I'm saying. This is our first real project from the ugly paper series. But um, I tore this out. I think it's okay. But I'm going to put something in the middle, I guess. So anyway, uh, yay, this is cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but leave a comment down below. Tell me what you would do with this, because I don't like this. I guess I could flatten it some kind of way, and I don't know. Anyway, I'm babbling, rambling on for no reason now. Um, leave me a comment down below, and let me know what you would do with your flower. Until next time, happy crafting.